Hi, it's Lee and welcome to The Test Your Economist. All right, I wasn't gonna make this video, but I'm getting too excited about AI day. I feel like I need some sort of outlet. I've been really busy trying to work out everything that's been going on with the market and company that I haven't actually been able to concentrate too much on this event. And now suddenly it's getting very close. The excitement has suddenly kicked in over time. Now, remember, initially AI2 was just that, a sequel to the first, perhaps even just another potential recruiting event like the last one supposedly was. Or perhaps this one really was to show the world what Tesla have achieved since the last, which was now over a year ago, would you believe? In fact, 20th of August, 2021, this somewhat reminds me of how Google's AI AlphaGo would beat the best humans at Go, and in the next version, AlphaGo Zero was completely self-taught and could obliterate the previous version. That's the rate of exponential that AI can progress. We could see all sorts of insane things happening at this event. Perhaps Dojo will come online and we'll see Dojo training the neural net, just like AlphaGo was capable of training itself. This would mean that Tesla's FSD would potentially be able to have a much larger March of nines that much earlier, as it can run so many scenarios in a such shorter period of time it would vastly improve FSD at a much faster rate, likely exponentially faster. Elon does continue to say that FSD will be ready this year, by which he means the car can drive itself safer than a human. It doesn't mean it will roll out across the US and can drive you anywhere you want. Elon thinks that this still need about 6 billion miles of data before it can likely get regulatory approval, which may sound like a lot, but that would only be a million vehicles doing 6,000 miles and they should be making Teslas at a run rate of around 3 million a year towards the end of next year. In other words, Tesla will hit that level of data, but it may take a couple more years still. But Elon is not saying that FSD will be able to drive you everywhere you want this year. He's just saying that it will be safer than a human. From there, we'll start collecting massive amounts of data and FSD beta is rolled out to more and more drivers in more markets, meaning that there'll soon be so many Teslas on the road that data will eventually come. You can't argue with this much data. So regulation will eventually pass. I would expect a lot of AI day to be about the progress of FSD and what they have achieved from last year. Some of the issues they faced, such as summoning a car from a car park. They might talk about how the engineers have found new ways of working through certain scenarios. Of course, it's not just about FSD for private car owners. There is a larger picture at play here. Of course, the Robotaxi. There's been talk of this vehicle being potentially unveiled later this year. Tesla have had a very long time and a very large amount of resources and capital to work on their next car. There was some sort of a mention of it on battery day of a low cost Tesla that was also assumed to be a robo taxi. As the vast majority of taxi fares and Uber fares are single passenger, then it is clearly more economical in every aspect for a robo taxi to be a smaller and more compact. Now, I know we love talking about first principles design, but another perspective of this is the leverage of Tesla's incredible engineering it offers them is what I'm going to call a blank canvas design. With tabless cells, for example, Tesla were able to redesign a battery cell without having to be as concerned with so many of the thermal management issues. Now, in a robotaxi, we have another blank canvas, as in there is no driver. The vehicle can be designed from a totally different application that has never before been done. There's no need for a steering wheel, pedals, not even a front windscreen to see where you're going. If there is indeed a compact robotaxi, will this vehicle also double up as the affordable compact for sale? I wouldn't have thought so. I think Tesla will find a lower cost sale for an affordable battery that doesn't use nickel. For one, nickel is too expensive. And secondly, it is scarce and Tesla might want to keep it for more important applications that are more valuable, like the robotaxi. Also, Tesla hasn't even got their 4680s in volume production yet, so I can't see them about to get a new low-cost nickel-free cell into a massively high volume production in an affordable compact version. I know some people are expecting Tesla to release one in 2024, but just do the numbers. It's not happening. You know, unless Tesla are sandbagging like something crazy, of which I would be more than happy to be wrong. Rich and wrong is better than poor and right, at least in that scenario. So maybe there is the potential of a robotaxi reveal and even a demonstration of it taxiing, picking up a passenger and taking them to their destination, along with information about how it will operate with the app. Now, this AI day was also meant to be hosted on August the 19th, but was pushed back to the 31st of September because Elon thought 
that they may also be able to give a demonstration of the bot. Yes, this early, just a year later than initially announced on the first AI day, only this time it won't be someone dressed up in a costume. I doubt it will look anything near as pretty as the original, probably more like a T-800 robot from Terminator. To be honest, I'm not even sure if it will walk. Perhaps it might even look something more like Johnny Five from Short Circuit. It might be easier for now to focus on the actual application of the robot rather than aesthetics and balance. On the other hand, who knows, it's Tesla working on what sounds like to be the biggest industry in the history of industries. The bot will likely only be specialized in various tasks at this stage, but if it can replace a human with a task, then that alone is a massive deal. Sure, we hope that there will be bots that look after us and our parents in their old age, but that would be a long way away until these bots are mainstream and in every house. Tesla would start with where there is the most value first, which would be replacing actual labor rather than adding additional labor that was not previously affordable. It would need to be able to do a common task that could replace a lot of workers of this type, as there would need to be a reasonably sized total addressable market. Replacing actual labor would thus make the bot vastly more valuable and making the bot cost of production almost superfluous. Tesla don't need to be selling these for $25,000. The fact it can replace a human and probably work something close to three times as many hours as a human as it would require minimal breaks and likely charge a lot faster than a human needs to sleep and work seven days a week, etc. Well, perhaps you end up getting more like five times more productive hours of work. On top of that, it may actually be more productive than a human in the first place. It can replace the most basic jobs and still be worth a fortune. If it can replace a worker that costs $50,000 a year and can work five times as many hours, then that's worth $200,000 a year. Of course, employees cost more than just their salaries too. If you wanted a 25% return on your investment on this bot, i.e. pay the bot off in a four year period, then it is worth $1 million, quite a bit more than $25,000 that a lot of people are speculating they'll cost. I think it's likely to first be able to do a task on the Tesla production line. For one, it will obviously be a massive cost saving for Tesla, but also they can obviously train it and keep an eye on it too, working in house. They can learn from what it's doing and work out how to further improve and evolve the bot. From there, it will of course all come down to manufacturing, the industry that Tesla thrives on the most and where Elon sees the company's largest competitive advantage. How many of these bots can they make a year on the production line? How quickly can they set up these lines? How much will each bot end up costing when in mass production? What will the total addressable market be? Anyway, I just felt like sharing some of my excitement about the event with you and what we might have to look forward to. There is the chance that even if any of this did occur, that it would all go completely over the market's head, just like it did every other time. But there's always that feeling we have that maybe this time it's different and maybe it will send the stock price off to the stratosphere. Thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and talk to me on Patreon.